Hi Peas, I'm Paige Evans and today I have a me themed layout based on moments or the stories we just have to scrapbook using a bunch of two peas exclusive printables and cut files based on the February mood board which is filled with loads of inspiration. I swear the little quilt on the bottom right corner was included just for me because you know how much I love making quilt inspired layouts and this layout is no exception. So here is the mood board and see I started with this triangle shaped quilt as inspiration. I grabbed my American Crafts triangle punch and I punched a triangle from tons of pattern papers that matched the colors from the mood board and I have this aqua ombre paper background and I chose the ombre effect or pattern because there is a pink ombre or ombre, I'm not really sure how to say it correctly. Um, sorry, the pink ombre um, image from the mood board, so I was inspired by that. And so I went through all of my 6x6 paper pads as well as a few of the new American Crafts lines um, from Amy Tangerine, the Plus One collection, and the new Daydreamer line by Dear Lizzie. And I just lined up all of these tri um, triangles on a diagonal for more interest. I've done straight across and up and down, but on the di diagonal was kind of fun. And the quilt on the mood board is at an angle, so I was just following along with that. And I'm filling in some of the gaps going all the way to the edges. So really, it looks like it takes a lot of time to make this layout, but really, I filmed this whole video and made the layout while my kids were taking a nap, and they only nap for about an hour to an hour and a half. So it's pretty fast and fabulous. <laughs> And, you know, just putting in another triangle in some of the gaps, just for some more interest. Break it up a little bit. It's a fun process. Just put on a movie and have fun sticking these down. You don't have to stick them down all the way. Just use a little bit of adhesive because in a little bit I'm going to go so sew them down permanently. I use my sewing machine 99% of the time for sewing through paper. Rarely do I ever sew through fabric, but I don't even switch the needle. It works great on both paper and fabric. Okay, so I'm just trimming off the excess from the edges. Voila, just like that. And now this is when I'm going to go sew right across the straight edge of each line of triangles. Ta-da! Okay, so I've die cut these two piece exclusive cut files and journaling cards and die cut images. And I cut all the cut files from white cardstock and black cardstock. And I think I like the white title, but in just a minute, um, I'll see which one for sure. So basically I'm just pushing paper around, trying to find the right the right way I want it to look. So there's with the black title, but I like the softer look of the white. Just moving things around, trying to figure out the placement. So I want to call this layout love, 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 love with all my heart. These are some more printables from Vilna Furstenberg. Okay, so I figured out the placement. I'm gonna go ahead and attach them with my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, one of my newest favorite tools. And then to make these pop up a little bit, stand off the page, because I like the little shadow effect, I'm gonna use a little foam square. There's another Printable, this is just a little date label designed by Lisa Dickinson. She's so talented. I'll tuck it under there and I'll stamp the date a little later. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to drop some India ink along the top right and bottom left edges. I think most of my layouts have some sort of mist or paint element like that. Just draws the eyes all around the page. And now to create some more um, dimension, I'm going to add a few of these new plus one badges and a little tri and a triangle. Here are some plus one fabric brads. Again, just creating a triangle and I'm trying to match up colors like black brads on black triangles, red badges on red triangles, gray badges on gray, etc. So here I'm using an October afternoon roller date stamp just to stamp the date on the date label. I did a little test stamp first to make sure it, it um, worked okay. Didn't stamp perfectly, so a little precision pen comes in handy to fill in the gaps. And with the same precision pen, I'm just going to add a little journaling. You can read what I wrote in the comments below along with a list of supplies. So here is the finished layout. There it is. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.